Welcome back to another exciting unboxing. This is just one day after our last unboxing. More things showed up. I apparently ordered an LG Ultra Wide. Uh, the this specific Ultra Wide is always pretty much the cheapest one on Amazon right now. I think it's one ninety nine Canadian rupees, which basically is free in America. So it's a IPS. It's twenty five sixty by ten eighty. It is called the I swear on the on the listing it lists 29 WK 500 which would mean that it's a 29 inch monitor but on the listing in Amazon it listed as 27 inch so I don't know what to like believe but let's uh let's get in the box and just kind of find out how it is I did unbox a I think a 34 inch last year uh, that my brother is currently using, that he loves. As far as I can tell, he hasn't complained about it. After the cat stopped knocking the uh, DisplayPort cord out of his computer, he was okay with it. Uh, so, I'm hoping that I can get one of these, at least for now, let's get this out of the way, get my face in the way. Uh, at least for now, get one of these, and then if I like it, upgrade to two basically replace right now I have two I have a 27 in the middle two 24s and sorry I had to turn the camera around there uh yeah 27 two 24s and two 21s one of the 21s is in here on the paint stream as you can see all my mini paints over there and you can kind of see the printer that creates the printer hellscape or one of them uh so I'm hoping uh, that that would be my next upgrade since as a streamer 4k is a bit Not really out of your reach, but it's kind of not worth it to upgrade to uh, Without investing a lot more in other gear not only Crinkle, Crinkly Sound There appears to be our accessories and that's a CD Book and stuff uh, But like you have to invest in better capture cards 4k capture cards which at the moment are roughly around three, four hundred dollars each. I would have to put in uh, for like two or three capture cards at that point, and that's pretty expensive. All, all in. So let's see what we got. We've got a power supply. This looks like a it's a simple power power brick. No need for like a big long brick so far. So it's just a DC to. Uh, I was hoping it twisted. That would have been really nice. Looks like it totally twists. And it's got this round bit on it. Uh, we've got a DC to your uh, three prong, which I'll need. So I'll put it right there. What is this? Oh, it was stuck to the printer. Yeah, that was not the garbage. Anyway, moving on. We've got a circle thing. What could this be? This looks like the top to the monitor stand or something like that, which I'm not gonna use because I'm gonna base them out on the six base amount I bought. Hopefully this will fit. Uh, we've got a, this looks like a, maybe a three foot HDMI cable. So if you got your computer really close, uh, I don't. So this is, yay, another HDMI cable. Woo! I can go right beside my other ones that aren't 25 feet. So that's pretty much what I'm looking for. We've got two screws. Wow. Probably need those for the stand. We have an instruction manual on how to put the stand together. Yeah, it looks like that collar is part of the top of the stand. I know you can't really see it because I don't have a great camera control right now. But apparently you can also plug it in. Apparently it comes with either like the old school power supply or one of those ones that we got, which is nice. We got the easy one. Although the other one would be nice because you can plug more into a power strip. We've got a protect your investment. Don't forget to register. Never bother to do that. A how to take it out of the box. This is why I'm here. What am I looking at that? We've got a CD. It's garbage, basically. I don't have anywhere. No, right there. That's where the garbage is going to go. That one, that one. I've already got garbage from uh, the other unboxings I did. So here we go, here's some more. We're going into 
This looks like the arm that it would normally go onto. I'm actually not going to assemble it. Yeah, it looks like those two screws go in here and there's probably a screw on this piece, which is the bottom. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna assemble it because I'm gonna put it directly onto my multi-monitor mount so it doesn't make a lot of sense. I kind of wish you could actually buy monitors without feet. This is a bit light, a bit lighter than I'd like it, but I bet it kind of, yeah. There, there's gonna be no adjustment on this bad boy. I'll tell you that right now. It does have a, like a brushed aluminum sort of look to it. So if you're, that's the kind of thing you're into, it's got it. Uh, it is plastic though, so you don't have to worry about your uh, gross hands melting your nice brushed aluminum chassis for your, uh, for at least this part. This part seems to be, yeah, that's that's plastic, and then it, it's got a metal, like aluminum uh, base where it doesn't matter what color it is. It's got a uh, three feet, so it shouldn't go back and forth on your desk too much. But I, I don't, I don't need this. But you keep them because if you sell the monitor, nobody wants to buy just plain monitors. Off comes tough. Here's your first look at the bottom of our monitor here. It looks like it's packed upside down, which is nice. Because that makes it easier to pick out the locks without breaking it. So, we've got a very fuzzy, floppy sort of business here. We've got a hella matte screen. Unless this is a coating. It looks like there's like a matte screen protector on it, maybe? Which I'm fine with too. Alright, let's see what we got here. Got more garbage. So this is indeed very ultra wide, super ultra wide. Uh, the height of it, let's look, I got a 21 inch over here. So the height of it is about the same as the 21 inch I have, but the height of the screen is probably closer to a 24. Uh, and then it's super wide, which is about what I wanted. Usually you take one or two inches off the height to get the right like height that a monitor would normally be. So the 34 inch is about the same size as my 27 inch monitor. And this 29 is about the same size as a 24. So you can, you can kind of get the height idea, but it's like one and a half times uh, wide as wide. So you have, you have tons of width uh, here. This monitor has a uh, pretty, bezels are like that, that thick. Something like that, about, say like a centimeter on every side. The bottom has a LG bezel. So if I was running it in my system, I would actually run it like this, because you want the lesser bezel on the, uh, on the side going out from your monitor stack. It has one of these LG finger control businesses right here. It's on the top here. It's really hard to show without dropping it. Just a little nipple. You just click in and play with to get your uh, settings. The OSD appears on that. On the back, we've got two HDMI in, a headphone, and power. So if you want to run like VGA or DVI or something, look elsewhere. Two HDMI in is pretty good. I don't think I would need any more than that in most cases. It's actually tempting to run this as my main monitor, but my uh, my capture card probably outputs the wrong type of signal for it. Uh, yeah, it's got uh, VESA mounts on the back. This looks like the 100 millimeter ones. So if you've got that, my monitor mount has several different flavors. Here's where your included stand would normally attach. <sighs> Try not to pick it up by the monitor important step in life in general. I was kind of give you a little tour. It does have some up and down adjusts on the on the stand normally. 
Yeah, I wonder if that actually comes off in a nice way. Either way, it sits about this far off the desk. If you want any higher, it's just books. Readings for suckers anyway, so you could just put books underneath there or like old monitors or, you know, whatever. Uh, the color and stuff, they say it's okay. I, I, bet it, I bet it's fine. You don't want to do any real editing on it without ever running a, like a spider on it or something like that. So don't, don't really worry about that. And uh, I think I think that that's about, that's about it. Uh, I will get to using it, and uh, I really want to do follow up videos, but I'm just so incredibly uh, lazy. I call it busy, but I actually mean lazy. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, for today, I'm Seven, and uh, I bought a monitor that is cheap. You can buy one too if you want. If you don't want, you know, don't. But if you do want, check the description. I linked it. Easy peasy. Don't need to find out your own links. I'll see you guys next time.